What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadskin. I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video And in today's video, we're going to be playing through yet another Fortnite dungeon And this time it's going to be uh, again another Whitebeard Allies dungeon Now I believe there's been two other Whitebeard, um, Whitebeard Pirate Fortnite dungeons And yet again, they are releasing yet another one with four new Whitebeard characters That you can use to socket out their rare recruit counterparts, which is quite nice So let's go ahead and overview this and and then at the end of the video, we're going to overview every single character and, you know, just basically give my opinions on them and whether or not you should use them to skill up or use them to socket out your rare recruit counterpart. So the boss character is going to be Haruta and then the recommended recruitable. So the characters you can drop throughout the dungeon is going to be Haruta, Speed Jiru, uh, Atmos, and also um, King Du, which is the He-Man looking guy who I haven't dropped yet. The skill books you can get though, you can get the Legend Corazon skill book. So if you guys weren't able to max him out previously, you can go ahead and do that. You can also get your rogue. You can get the three-day, two-year Robin, the rare recruit Kobe, who is actually going to be extremely useful for the upcoming training forest that is coming out uh, in, in one or two days. So make sure to go ahead and farm this guy up. You can also get time skip Sanji and time skip Chopper books. Awesome. We are finally getting the time skip Straw Hat books. Uh, you can also get the skill books for Soka King and five star plus. Usopp, uh, or you can also get uh, the Story Mode Moria, and also Story Mode Aokiji. So overall, this Fortnite's got some pretty decent skill books. You can drop Int and Psy uh, boosters and Evolvers. You can also drop some Cola there as well. Uh, and the condition for this Fortnite states you can only bring Psy-type characters. So, uh, you know, obviously, being Psy-type only, the best team for this is going to be a Strong Lord Shanks team. Now, with this team that I am using, Shirahoshi is 100% not required. She's literally the only unit on this team that you really don't need. Senor Pink is super helpful, giving you an orb boost on a really low cooldown. You have access to... Doc, Doc Q is actually pretty important for this team, and also Manshuri kind of helps as well. But we'll get into all that once we reach those stages. But let's go ahead and get started with the dungeon. As I said before, guys, once we complete the dungeon, we're going to overview all of the characters that you can actually drop throughout this Fortnite dungeon, uh, just to give you uh, all, the, all the information that you guys need about it. So... Um, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, the the thing about this dungeon is, is it's very similar to the other Whitebeard dungeons where you don't actually do anything for like the first five stages. Uh, the, you don't actually encounter a boss until the sixth stage. And yes, it is an eight stage Fortnite dungeon. And yeah, you won't actually encounter a boss until the, uh, until the sixth stage. And then you'll encounter one on the seventh and the eighth stage as well. Uh, the hidden boss being He-Man, I have not found King Du yet. Uh, I do not know whether he replaces one of the bosses or you find him before the bosses. I still don't actually know that yet. But, uh, you know, it'd be kind of interesting if we actually found him throughout this video. That would be pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, Strong One Shanks, obviously being side type only, he's like the best team for this. You can bring like another team like Kizaru or something like that. You don't have to have Shanks as the captain. Obviously, you can bring possibly Guild Tezora would be a pretty good choice as well. But the thing about bringing um, Doc Q is you need slashes and strikers in order to make it efficient um, for his special ability. And the reason why we need Doc Q is for the next boss after Speed Jiru here. So let's go ahead and target Speed Jiru and take him down first, obviously because he is the boss on the low cooldown. So we want to make sure that he's taken care of and that we can take care of the ads around him as well. So not too really, not not, not really too difficult uh, of this stage. So Strong One Shanks is definitely the best friend captain. If you guys don't own Shanks, then definitely bring him as a friend captain because the ability to get so many matching orbs is so so crucial for this because it makes it so that you don't really have to like you know use many orb manipulating specials and it just makes it so much quicker to beat stuff because you're not taking too much time to kill things because you just have so much damage from getting so many matching orbs. But this is a particular reason why we have dot q as you can see there once you actually kill off atmos he will make it so that all your orbs on your crew will be um, block orbs and the reason for this is is because now we have dot q he changes all block orbs on your strikers and slashes into matching we have then man sherry to get rid of the preemptive paralysis that haruta gives us and we can also go ahead and use the orb boost from our senor pink we can go ahead and use shirohoshi to get rid of that last block orb uh, but overall like this team is just like overkill uh it just does so much damage to haruta no issues whatsoever 
But yeah, as I said, you don't need those two legends. They're just there because they're super helpful for the crew. Definitely, definitely not needed. But yeah, that's pretty much the run through of the team that I've been using in order to farm this particular Fortnite dungeon. But let's go ahead and talk about these units now that we've actually broken down the dungeon. Actually, what skill books do we get? We've got three at the end here. Um, okay, Sanji and Chopper, those are the ones I want the most. I've already maxed Robin there, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and break down this. Now, as I said, I don't have the, um, the King Do yet, so, you know, we can't really, you sh I can't really show you him, but he I'll just talk about him anyway. But here we have Haruta. So, Haruta has a Captain ability, reduce special charge time by one turn at the start of the quest for Slasher and Cerebral characters, and double Int characters attack. So, not, uh, not especially you're going to be using that often. Uh, Haruta has a special ability that will max at 10 turns. Cuts damage taken by Psy characters by 80% for one turn and deals 12 times his attack in int damage to a single enemy. On a 10 turn cooldown, that's actually pretty good. Uh, really nice damage reduction there. Uh, he's not really going to be used that often, uh, but it is nice to have that option if you do really need it. He actually has a Sailor ability as well that states reduces characters' special bind duration by two turns. That's not too bad, but it, the thing is, his special has nothing to do with special bind reduction. Those Sailor abilities are exceptional exceptional for units that have a special ability that states reduce special bind duration by X amount of turns. But, you know, it's still not a bad sailor ability. It just doesn't really work well with him, just in general. But, you know, not too bad. Not too bad of a unit. Here we have Speed Jiru. So, yeah, Speed Jiru's captain ability, double striker, and driven character's attack. Not going to be used too often. Special ability, which will max at uh, a really low cooldown. Let me check real quick. Maxes at 7 turns, and it deals 12,500 damage to a single enemy. So, pretty good amount of fixed damage. That would have instantly KO'd an old Princess Turtle, but because the Princess Turtles have had, like, um, a bit of an update, they only have 40 HP now. So, you know, this special isn't as useful as before, but still, you know, if you do need that extra fixed damage, then it is there. He does have a Sailor ability that states, boost striker character's base attack by 20 when your HP is 70 or higher so okay that's not too bad could be better uh, then we have Atmos so Atmos captain ability just simply two times attack to yellow units special ability which will go ahead and reduce the spare duration by three turns and boost characters attack by 1.5 times for one turn yeah he only boosts his own attack for 1.5 times for one turn and that maxes at 11 turns uh, 11 turn cooldown for reducing despair duration by 3 turns is actually not that bad. Um, this guy might be worth maxing out just because of that despair duration reduction. His Sailor ability boosts powerhouse characters base attack by 20 if the captain is a powerhouse character. Yeah, so if you are running a powerhouse team and you need despair duration reduction, then that's pretty good. Not too bad. He's probably going to be worth maxing. And the last character, which I don't have, is King Du, who uh, at max cooldown is a 14 turn cooldown, removes poison and boosts attack of powerhouse characters by 1.5, but for one turn, if your health is below 30% when you activate the special. Um, he's not too bad. He makes recovery oils beneficial for himself if your captain is powerhouse. So, he man, I guess, King Du can see some use. He does remove poison, which is actually pretty important. Uh, the boosting of attack doesn't really matter, but removing poison can actually be pretty, pretty useful. I don't think there's too many powerhouse characters that remove poison. So, King Dude might worth having, might be worth having. He does max at 14 turns. He needs five skill ups, so it's going to be hard to max him out considering you can't farm his skill books. You can only max him out from copies himself. But overall, not too bad of a Fortnite. Obviously, the skill books are going to be the main draw here. And obviously, if you do get these characters, you can use them to socket out the rare recruit counterparts, as I said earlier. But hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys have, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, but without further ado, I'll see you guys within the next video.